Hi there, this video will describe how to add a post-processing night vision effect uh, to an Unreal project. <clears throat> so previous videos we set up uh, a very foggy scene uh, where we've also set up a uh, light that we can toggle on and off to be able to see uh, objects and we can also now add a post-processing effect that looks like a night scene uh, to our level to add some more variety in interactions. So I'm going to decrease my fog density so we can kind of see this a little more. Put it back to 0.3. So there we go. We can see our environment a little more. Um, so this is on the exponential high fog. I just lowered the fog density down some more. 0.03 versus 0.07. All right. So a post-processing volume, if I go to volumes, there's one down the bottom that says uh, post-processing volume. So post-processing volume, if I drag this in as a kind of a pinkish, uh, box, wireframe box, and what this is is that when the player enter, uh, enters this volume, then it's going to change the visual effect that the camera has, kind of like a filter uh, on a photography lens or whatnot. So I'm going to scale this up uh, really large, and I'm going to use this post-processing volume as a test. So I'm just going to scale it up really large, move it down a little bit so I can move in and out of it. And what happens is when I move into this post-processing volume, then the effect is going to change on top of the camera's lens. If I move out of the volume, it's not going to affect the camera. So one quick and easy way to do this, or example, is with a night, night vision. So I might have a night scene, a very dark scene, and we can add a night vision to be able to make adjustments with this uh, so we can see it in a different light. So post-processing volume has a lot of different effects from depth of field, which is uh, blurriness, depending on what's in focus versus what's out of focus. Uh, bloom, which is how uh, bright a light is shining on us and the kind of glare that we see. Exposure, uh, which is uh, the color contrast. Um, chromatic aberration, there's a lot of other things. Dirt mask, camera lens flares uh, for lights. Um, we're going to do like image effects with a vignette. Uh, there's also depth of field adjustments as well, mobile depth of field versus regular depth of field. And then we have color grading and a couple other things that we can add underneath this. There's a bunch of things that post-processing volumes can do. This is one example of that. So one of them is going to uh, be with a, a night vision, and we're going to add a vignette, which that's going to darken all of the corners around the composition. So if I go to image effects and vignette, and I increase that, you can see the center stays the same, but the outer corners of my scene are darkened. So let's just darken in more, something like that. That focuses the eye to the center of the composition. And then we're going to go to color grading and go to global. And when there's a bunch of different color values, shadows, midtones, highlights, white balance. I'm going to go to global. And I'm going to open up gamma. And we're going to turn on gamma, which is overall kind of global color change. And I'm going to go to the color swatch. Whoops. Put that back up. Um, and I can drag this around. You can see that it's going to start to change the colors of everything. Okay, there we go. So we want a kind of a green look to it. Light vision is kind of a green, maybe a yellowy green almost. Here we go. So in the volume, it's going to create that vignette and create this kind of green overlay. If I move out of the volume, so if I get out of the volume, that effect is, does not affect, does not change the camera. So outside of this post processing volume is back to my regular gray scene. But if I move in the volume, now it is night vision mode. So out of the volume, in the volume. Now, I'm just creating this post-processing environment to show the options and to visually see how I can make adjustments to see the changes here. But for a night vision toggle that I can do with a player character, I am going to use this as a reference and then add this same setting to the player character. So we've got our settings here where we've changed our gamma and our vignette. Change anything else we may want. I'm going to remember those and come back to those. Uh, we're going to do a action input. So if we go to edit project settings, get our inputs. We're going to add a new action mapping. I have some other ones in here, jump, jetpack, flashlight, crouch. So let's add a new one. And we're going to call this one night vision. Maybe we'll use the R key because I used the T key last time for flashlight. So let's click on the R key. You can use whatever you want here. N for night vision, whatever. I'm just going to use the R key because it's over there near WASD. So night vision, action mapping with the R key. I'm going to open up my player blueprint. And in the event graph, I already have like character movement, uh, flashlights. You can look at the previous video for some of these. But now we're going to add this night vision. So I'm going to come down here, 
and we're going to right click and choose night vision or type in night vision and then there's our new action mapping uh, event called night vision and the other thing we need is a post processing uh, volume within the player character's blueprint so this is a component so if I go up to the component I'm going to type in post process so this adds a post process component not necessarily a volume that we can see in the viewport of the character but basically um, this post process component affects the camera and anything underneath this character okay so we add that post process component and over here on the right I'm gonna move this over here so I can uh, see my previous one or all my settings for that post process volume. It's the same exact settings as I have in the details panel in my post process volume in my world. All right, so if I go to lens, there is an image effect, and we're gonna turn on vignette, and we're gonna try to match this value. So we can say, uh, select that 0.97 for vignette, copy, and paste that over here. Okay, so that will match the same exact value. We can go to our color grading and open up uh, global, and turn on gamma and open up gamma and copy and paste these values so 0 0.8 for red uh, one's the same for green blue is 0.59 and um, uh, alpha is the same so we shouldn't mess with that okay so there's that same green color you can kind of see the green look in here now all right so what that means is I don't need my post processing volume in my world I'm just going to delete that out so delete that post processing volume from my world and I just want this to take effect when I press the R key to turn on night vision for my character. So post processing component, copy the values over that we've changed, and now we're ready to go to make this work in the event graph. All right, so from the press of our night vision action, I'm gonna drag out, and we're gonna add a uh, flip flop, flip flop. Okay, flip flop node. So basically, whenever I press this the first time, I want it to turn the post processing volume on. When I press it the second time, I want it to turn the post processing vo volume off. So let's go to post process component and let's type in um, enable. Uh, and I'm going to uncheck enabled, which means the post processing volume is not going to take an effect as default. If it's enabled, you can see it's turned green. When it's not enabled, it's not going to be green. So I want to make sure the post process component is not enabled to begin with. And then with our flip flop action, we're going to enable it. All right, so we need a reference to that post process component. So let's drag out from that. And then from that, we're going to drag out, whoops, left click and drag. And we're going to choose um, set enable, set enable. There you go. And we're going to checkbox that to begin with because the first time we press the night vision R key, I'm gonna choose flip-flop A. So that's gonna enable the post process component. And then let's copy that set enabled, copy paste, control C, control V, connect up the post process to that one and uncheck enable. So the second time I hit the R key, which is flip-flop B, that's gonna get connected to the set uh, unchecked enable. First time enable, second time do not enable. Right. And that's it for this process. That's all we got to do. Um, let's drag select this. Hit the C key to comment. Say night vision. Enter. Compile. And save. Alright, so now let's go play. And as default, my post processing volume is not on. If I hit the R key, post processing is on, so I'm in night vision mode. If I hit the R key again, uh, post processing is not on. So I can toggle on and off with that post process component of the player character. And that coupled with previously with my spotlight, then I can kind of see things with my flashlight uh, or just have night vision without my flashlight. So that's a quick and easy way to use a post processing volume with an interaction to create a night vision type uh, approach.